find the probability of having 64 heads in 99th dose. If we think carefully of this question, we would see that it actually involves two situations. The first one is that we only have had 63 doses, I mean, sorry, 63 heads in 98 doses. And the second is we're about to uh, toss the coin for 99th time and expect to have 64th heads again. 64th in 99th. So basically the probability we were asked to calculate is the product of probabilities of these two situations. So if we name the probability of the first situation as P1 and the probability of the second situation as P2, the probability we were asked about is P1 times P2. Now, the, pr the probability of the second situation is quite easily found because in this situation we are only tossing the coin once and we only have two possible outcomes to have heads or tails. So the probability of having heads is one half. Calculating the probability of the first situation is slightly more difficult but still not a problem. So let's find it. We go combination of 63 successes out of 98 trials divided by 2 taken to 98, 98th power. So again, we already have 63 heads in 98 tosses. And this denominator here says that uh, this number is the total amount of outcomes. So we have 98 factorial over 63 factorial times 98 minus 63 factorial. And this all goes divided by 2 taken to 98th power. Or, to write it in more conveniently, 98 factorial over 63 factorial times 35 factorial times 2 to 98th power. Now let's substitute these P1 and P2 probabilities into the formula for P. So we'll go 98 factorial over 63 factorial times 35 factorial times 2 to 98 multiplied by P2 which is 1 half or 1 second. Ninety-eight factorial divided by sixty-three factorial times thirty-five factorial and times two to ninety-ninth power, which is approximately equal to zero point zero 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 and seventy-three. As you can see, the probability of the of this event of having sixty-fourth heads in 99th dose is pretty low. Well.